Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Smiles from Swiss Crypto Podcast and in this episode I'm gonna talk about Bank of America and its current stance on cryptocurrency. So stay tuned and let's get into it. The foundation of the banking system is on the transparency between the sender and the receiver and cryptocurrency is designed to be nothing of the sort. In fact, it's designed to be not transparent. That's what Bank of America Corporation's Chief Technology Officer Kathy Besant said this June 2019 about DLT and about cryptocurrencies and that really didn't sound very very well when it comes to the stance of Bank of America to cryptocurrency. And I've read that article back then and didn't pay much attention to it um, because there are a lot of articles about banks and cryptocurrencies um, who are quite negatively, who write a lot about the current mindset of the banks that they are more negative on the cryptocurrency space and on the DLT space. But today I went over that article again and dug a bit more into Bank of America's history with cryptocurrency and I wanted to shed some light on that because it's not only the negative side that we see shine out of this statement by Kathy Besant. In fact, there's a lot more um, behind that statement and a lot more hiding, if you want to say so, when it comes to cryptocurrency and DLT and Bank of America. From this statement, you would think the stance on cryptocurrency and DLT is pretty clear that Bank of America doesn't want to do anything with cryptocurrency and DLT because of its transparency, as they say. Um, if you're in the cryptocurrency for some time, if you understand the DLT and if you understand how blockchain works, you know that this statement is not really a valid statement. Um, but that led aside, I want to see how Bank of America is involved in cryptocurrency and DLT besides that statement that they gave in that article. And when I dug a bit deeper, I actually found that Bank of America is at the leading forefront when it comes to adoption of DLT and cryptocurrency. You wouldn't think that if you just read that article. In fact, Bank of America has been quietly preparing for a future in which the world of finance could migrate to blockchain, if you want to say so. Um, also under the tech and operations chief, Kathy Besant, the bank has accumulated the most patents for technology of any financial services company for inventions ranging from blockchain powered ATMs to storage for cryptocurrency keys. In total, Bank of America actually has applied for or received 82 blockchain related patents more than any other financial firm including payment companies like mastercard and paypal and compared to other banks they are in the leading positions if you look at jp morgan bank they currently hold about six patent applications compared to 82 by bank of america and when asked about these patents, Besant said most of the patents allow Bank of America system to plug into blockchain should the need arrive. Think of it as a future proving the second biggest US bank against the threat of being relegated to the sideline. Basically, we want to be ready, she said. We want to reserve our place in the IP chain for or if blockchain fulfills what some people believe its potential is. However, she is most skeptical of the prospects for public blockchains, like Bitcoin that runs on one, where anyone can set up an account and participate. Private blockchains, which require intermediaries to give permissions to users, could help financial institutions serve clients better and at lower cost at some point, Besant said. So, you get the vibe out of these statements. Um, these statements are 180 degrees 
changed from the statement that I've read to you before from an earlier article. And it just shows that banks are not sleeping at all. I'm pretty sure that Bank of America is not the only bank that thinks like this, um, that wants to be prepared if blockchain really gets adopted or if blockchain really becomes a thing in the financial market, in the financial economy that we have now. And I mean, just the fact that they hold over 80 different blockchain patents shows that it's not only for the if case. I'm pretty sure they are kind of preparing for the takeoff and adoption of blockchain and cryptocurrency in the future. Um, you don't apply for 80 different blockchain patents if you are just preparing for an if scenario. And if you have a closer look at all these patents, they are quite distributed on the whole DLT sector. Um, as I said, on ATMs, cryptocurrency ATMs, on a wallet that Bank of America could provide to its customers and also a patent that includes DLT from Ripple Labs that could then function on the bank's existing settlement layer. So you see Bank of America is really planning ahead and to summarize the stance on cryptocurrency and DLT of Bank of America, I would say the official statement is quite conservative, like the first statement that I read to you. But when it comes to the unofficial stance on cryptocurrency and DLT, Bank of America is preparing for a future with blockchain. Um, that just shows all the patents that they have when it comes to DLT and cryptocurrency. I'm pretty sure that this is not just a coincidence or preparation for an if scenario. Um, let me know what you guys think about this topic. Read up on it. I'll post the sources down in the description below. I'm very interested in your opinions. Please write them in the comments and let me know what you think about this topic. That's been it for this episode. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the content I provided. If you did so, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.